our body. The parts that we see on the outside. Our body has many parts. The main parts are the head, torso, arms and legs. The arms and legs are joined to the torso. The head is joined to the torso by the neck. The arms are joined to the torso at the shoulder. The legs are joined to the torso at the hip joint. The chest, abdomen and back together make up the torso. What is the abdomen? It is the stomach area. The arm has three parts. Upper arm, forearm and hand. The upper arm and forearm are joined at the elbow. The forearm and hand are joined at the wrist. The fingers are attached to the palm. Fingers and palm are part of the hand. The leg has three parts. Thigh, shin and foot. Toes are part of the foot. The thigh and shin are joined at the knee. The shin and foot are joined at the ankle. The back of the shin is called the calf. Our body is covered with skin just like an apple is covered with a peel. Our skin helps us touch and feel things. Almost all parts of our body are covered with skin. Under our skin, we have muscles. Muscles are pink and soft. You can feel the muscles on your hands and legs. When you smile, you can see the muscles in your cheek moving. Muscles help us move our body. When we eat mutton, chicken or fish, we eat the muscles of those animals. Under the muscles, there are bones. Bones are hard. They support our body. Where two bones meet, we have a joint. We can move our body at these joints. There are bones in almost all parts of the body. Suppose you couldn't move your neck at all. How would you look at something to your right? How would you look at something that had fallen down? It is so easy to quickly see things because our neck can move in any way. Can you bend your arm anywhere? No, you can bend it at the shoulder, elbow and wrist. We can bend each finger in three places too. Of all the fingers, we can bend our thumb in so many more ways too. Because our hand bends in so many places, we can do so many things with our hands. There is only one place where our torso can bend. That is the waist. We can bend forward at the waist. That helps us a lot. We can also move our waist a little 
side to side. Our legs bend in many places. They bend where they are attached to the torso, that is at the hip. Legs can bend at the knees. They bend at the ankle. What about the toes? They bend a little too, but not as much as the fingers. What is a belly button? We were all born from our mother's tummy, right? All babies in their mother's tummy get food through a long cord. When they are born, the cord is cut off. Cutting the cord leaves a little mark on their tummy. That is the belly button. Keep your belly button clean. The skin there is so thin, don't be too rough or your belly button will get sore. When you are cleaning your belly button, be very gentle and use a clean cotton bud. Dogs and cats also grow inside their mummy's tummy before they are born. So, they have belly buttons too. Animals like birds, frogs and snakes that come out of eggs don't have belly buttons. Can you think of some animals that have belly buttons and some that don't?